this is a little bit of a bummer, but this is something that I think we have to address. We're going to have to do more stories like this, unfortunately. Uh, this is a Verge article uh, from uh, from March 6th. So this isn't even like like super recent. And this this is an evolving story. And I think we're going to have to unfortunately cover it on the show, which is how Corona is affecting pop culture right now. Uh, and it is having an effect. Another thing is I do want to do some more video game content on the show since we do have a Twitch. I want to try to build that audience if it's possible. If anybody knows a lot about Twitch or anything like that or has some pointers on Twitch, please please let me know because Twitch is like our lowest uh, our lowest uh, uh, viewership and all that kind of stuff, and I would like to engage that audience more. I don't know what I'm missing. But uh, this is a, a video game-related article. This is about the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Uh, this says the TurboGrafx-16 16, 16 Mini has been delayed after a coronavirus shuts down production. Uh, we did a similar story where we talked about uh, how this was affecting the Baby Yoda toy line, uh, that that one is being delayed as well. Um, so for people that don't know what this is, um, if, if you're even if you're not a big video game fan, you've probably seen a lot of these mini systems that have been uh, promoted and have been coming out. Uh, there was a, a, a recently a uh, PlayStation 1 mini that was kind of a failure. There was a, um, there's been several ge uh, Genesis minis, like several of them have come out. And then the, the real successful ones have been the Nintendo mini and the Super Nintendo mini. Those two were very successful. I actually own a Super Nintendo mini. Uh, and those are cool, cool little systems because they're kind of like a nice little collectible. They, they look like a miniature version of the console and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, they don't have, they don't have the ability to use cartridges. I don't know if this turbo, Graphic 16 Mini was supposed to have the ability to, to play the old cartridges or not, but I know that there's a, this is kind of, a, for a lot of people, this is considered a very like underrated kind of forgotten system that just couldn't get any traction, but was actually uh, people that own it and, and liked it, liked it quite a bit. Uh, and, and if you're a collector and you want like an original TurboGrafx 16, I think they're getting pretty pricey now and they're hard to find. So that's the reason why a lot of people are looking forward to the Mini because the Mini is much more accessible, much easier to get. But unfortunately, because of, of Corona issues, uh, it's been delayed. So uh, you can see that I believe this is a picture of the Mini. It looks exactly like the um, original, the full-size version. It says the TurboGrafx-16 Mini, a retro revival of the classic Japanese gaming console, originally set to be released on March 19th, which is only like next week, has been delayed due to the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, Konami announced today. Uh, the miniature console, also known as the PC Engine Core Graphics Mini in Europe and PC Engine Mini in Japan, includes more than 50 games from the 16-bit era, such as Bomberman 93 and Wise 1 and 2, built into the software. Konami said in a statement that the coronavirus outbreak led to an unavoidable suspension of the manufacturing and shipping of the consoles. Konami has yet to announce a new release date uh, the company said it would be working on shipping the console out as soon as possible. Uh, it says the delay of the TurboGrafx Mini is not the first time the coronavirus has, has disrupted the gaming industry. Last week, the 2020 Gamer Developers Conference was postponed to later this year after big companies like Epic Games, Facebook, Microsoft, and Sony withdrew from the event. The virus outbreak has also impacted esports too with the Chinese League of Legends Pro League switching to online competitions. And again, unfortunately, this is going to be happening more and more. It's gonna be happening more with the convention scene. Uh, there are conventions that are being canceled and postponed as we speak. Uh, and it co we kind of, re I will re reiterate, uh, as other people are going to sort of panic, and uh, I think uh, in a lot of ways, Overreact or underreact because it doesn't seem like anybody does anything in the middle anymore. So people overreact and they underreact. <laughs> they don't take the problem seriously or they do too much. Um, you know, we're going to try to be hopeful on this show. We've talked about the idea of maybe even doing a, a virtual uh, con, you know, but doing something like that if, if things get really bad. Because, hey, the one thing is about our format, you can interact with us. And even if I'm coughing up a lung, you don't have to worry about it unless you're just worried about me. <laughs> You know what I mean? Unless you're just worried about me, which would be nice, but you don't have to worry about me getting you sick because you can still interact with me in the comfort of your own home or on your phone. However, it is that you watch the show. If you're listening to the show, 
I can be coughing all over the place. You're not going to get you sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not going to happen. So, um, and then uh, Bobby mentioned, I uh, just read an article that the NBA was going to be suspending for the rest of the season due to the coronavirus. I had not heard that. That's huge news. That's breaking news, Bobby, if that's true. Um, wow. And so I did see a thing, uh, actually, uh, of all things, just because my, uh, the way my Twitter is, I saw that uh, the uh, UCLA athletics, uh, uh, you know, their athletics department has basically, they're basically getting rid of the, the, uh, the fans. The fans can no longer go to their sporting events for the foreseeable future. So they're still having competition, but only the coaches, staff, referees, and the actual athletes are allowed to go. So they're, they're already saying no fans. So unfortunately, uh, we're going to get more and more stories like this. And uh, we'll do our best to cover some of them that we think would be interesting to you about how, how this might be impacting uh, pop culture. Uh, but uh, again, I do want to kind of leave it with a positive spin that, again, this is a safe place.